Hello, everyone. Welcome. Hi. It's William and Andrew here at Allegory Gallery, and we are in Star Cottage Studio. And I just realized my sublimation station background here is a little messy. Um, <laughs> I got paper. Oh, you need to have your own space. I know, but there is no place for that yet. There is. It's about to go in the basement, so I'm not running here all the time. Nah. <laughs> I'm just like, nah, I don't want that smell down there. Um, that's now Barnaby's little safe haven down there. Um, his man cave. <laughs> he goes down there when he needs to get away. Um, so there's a lot going on, everybody. Um, one of the things going on was Jen was in the store today. So if you stopped by, you got to see Jen. Um, I don't know if she did any little classes with anybody or not. Um, I wasn't sure if she's going to be back. I actually didn't think she was back yet today. Um, so I didn't advertise anything for classes, but that probably gave her um, kind of a, a more relaxing day. Ease in day. Because she just got back from spending time with her family. Um, and uh, so if you stopped at the store today, thank you. I wasn't there. But um, I know a few people did, and we appreciate it. We sold a tumbler in the store. I had one tumbler down there that I took for a sample to show people. And Jen's like, is this for sale? I'm like, yes, it is. She's like, sold. So somebody bought that. Thank you so much. Um, that's right. We had um, some... <laughs> we had another... We do actually have light bulbs we could sell. Um, we had another jewelry artist in the store that I saw came through today. So... Um, it's one of our friends from Johnstown, so thank you for coming in. Word's getting out. Word's getting out that we're moving. Andrew has been receiving lots and lots of messages from people in Johnstown trying to connect with us and and work together and do things and just say hi and welcome. So it doesn't take long, right? Sometimes the word gets out. Um, we're going to be um, moving um, in February. And hopefully by the end of February, we will be in our Johnstown building completely. That's the goal. Grand opening in the middle of March. We were going to try and do a grand opening for my birthday, but that's pushing it. I think um, we'll do a soft opening for your birthday. Might and then have an official, an official one. Because um, my birthday is on February 24th. Um, the cafe next door, their anniversary is actually Valentine's Day for the store opening, for their cafe opening. Um, so they're going to have a party on the 14th of February. Um, so it's going to be like party, party, party up in Moxham. So um, if you want to join us and you're in Johnstown, um, probably around the 24th, probably that weekend. I don't know when my birthday even falls this year, um, what day it falls on, but um, probably on that weekend closest to the 24th, we will have um, a soft opening, um, provided we are ready. Hopefully we are by then. It's the end of February. You may have to wear your painting clothes. <laughs> going to help us paint or, or arrange things. But we've had lots of offers for help, and we appreciate that. Um, I haven't been able to get back to everybody who's offered to help. Yeah. We're just been very busy. Um, so I didn't go into the store, but I sent out lots of emails and text messages today talking about our new bead blends, the luxury bead blends for the New Day bead blends. If you have not gotten yours, they are now in the online store. They may have gotten buried depending on how the collection sorts by the artwork we put on there. So the bead blends, if you missed those the other day, I actually don't have them here. I forgot to bring them. Um, they're at the store but they're the pink and the purple bead blends that we showed you on the live the other night. And um, we, uh, uh, they're now in the online store. You can purchase them. They're only $12 a bag for a two by three bag. Um, and as we uh, kind of wrote in the description there, these are bead blends that Andrew puts together. Um, it's, they are, there's no recipe that he follows. There's no, this is not like a commercial enterprise where you know, they put in the certain thing all the time and it's the same all the time and they can... It's all made with and, love. Right. It's made with love, but it's also made with decades of, you know, art schooling and understanding color principles and what goes together well and what doesn't and trends in the bead world and all that good stuff. Thanks, so, what? Thanks, William. Yeah. So, that's, that's how they are put. They are not just like thrown together, right? 
And that's why we call them luxury bead blends because there are wonderful materials in there. They are done with care and they um, can contain modern or contemporary and vintage components. So you bought every single thing to make these bead blends yourself, you would be spending maybe thousands. Yeah, uh, maybe hundreds. hundreds, probably hundreds um, to or make how these many blends. We're making probably thousands. <laughs> we did make a lot of these. So we have five more blends that are in the works. Yeah. At least we have, we have different colors coming up y'all. So if you've not gotten yours yet, get them in the online store. Um, uh, we're making a number of these. There's a limited quantity though to each one. So, so if you want to get that pink one, there's, there's a lot. There's a good bit of the pink one. The purple one, um, which I think has been the more in demand one anyway, is the one that there are fewer bags of. So, of right, of course, it's the way it always works. Um, so do, who, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Um, let's say hi to some people. Marianne is here, hello Marianne. Glad you could be here with us. Um, Suzanne is here. Thank you for joining us. Anne is with us. Norma is with us. Cheryl is with us. Donna Miller is here with us. When did Anne go back to work? Hmm? When did Anne go back to work? Anne, when do you go back to work? Or are you already back? Andrew's asking. Um, I oops. Were on for winter break or whatever, but... Let me turn on Do Not Disturb here. Andrew's got message. I'm using his phone today because right after I'm done, maybe, I don't know, the plan was, I don't have these. We're, we're dealing with acrylic pendants today, y'all. Um, and I don't have them in the online store yet. So during Andrew's demo, I was gonna put them in the online store, but I don't know if I'm gonna get that done because we got a surprise for you today. We're gonna do the, the Chinese crystal sale. Chinese crystal sale, y'all. So you didn't know that, it wasn't on the thing. Um, so we are gonna do the, we're gonna show you the pendants and all the colors. I'm going to let Andrew do the demo. And then we're going to do a Chinese crystal cell, crystal strand cell. These are, we, might do it in we might do them in various orders. We don't know yet. <laughs> I do the crystals and then do the demo. So we're going, to, we're going to do something. And then maybe if Andrew does the crystals in the demo, I'll have time to get all the colors and the things in the online store. Um, Did you make Instagram go? Instagram is going. Is anybody watching? We're, we got Duck Duck Bruce over there. Hello, Beth. Um, Deathers Leathers. We got Deathers Leathers. R. Mazza. Um, Sharon Stafford Metals. And she's, she's a, she weaves metal and makes beautiful basket work. And it looks like Ahmed Star Instrumente. Um, so I don't know who's all still watching, but those are the people who have joined at some point in this conversation. So thank you for joining us. Um, Donna says, evening all, hope you're all ready for the snow that's on its way. Yeah, yesterday they were calling for about yeah. six inches. Now they're calling for like three inches. So we'll see, we'll see what actually, we'll see what happens. We might get 10, who knows? Did you see that one that means that it's like could be happening for <laughs> 78 inches? Yeah, there's a lot of those going around lately. Teresa's joining in, hello, hello. Um, yeah, but, but. thank you all for spending your Friday evening with us. Yeah, it is Friday evening, right? So thanks yeah. for hanging out with us. Um, yeah, we were, we, we were talking earlier today. We've been going on a little bit later in the evenings, and it seems like more people are able to tune in and hang out a little bit longer with us. Um, so um, we're thankful for that, and we've been getting better numbers that way. Um, one thing I will say is that... Um, if you are watching, please follow us, subscribe to us, like us, where, whatever you can do, wherever you're watching. If you're on Instagram, please follow us on Instagram, hit that follow button. Um, if you're on Facebook, hit that follow or like. If you're on YouTube, please subscribe to us. And the one thing that would be really great, really great, and I can't make you do it, but if you're on, if you're on uh, YouTube, hit that little bell that turns notifications on. Um, we have, what, 1,580 subscribers, I think, on YouTube. 
and about 18% of them, one eight, 18% 18 of them actually hit that bell and turn it on. Um, so that bell will tell you when we go live so you don't miss anything from us. Um, did you plug my phone in? No, I did not. I don't like my phone. He likes to live dangerous. <laughs> I get a little bit how you call paranoid. Yeah, you do. Because I have this fear that we're going to get stranded somewhere and it's going to be like every movie we watch. Stranded between here and there, here and home. Oh, that would not be good, even though it is... Like at most, it'd be like a two-hour walk, right? Says you. <laughs> your zero percent battery. <laughs> um, I'm gonna call somebody. He said, "I'm gonna call somebody." I'm gonna call an Uber up in here. So, um, yeah. So, what was I saying, Andrew? About YouTube. Yeah, hit that little bell on YouTube. There's a little bell on our channel, um, and if you hit that, that lets you know every time we go live and gives you a little notification. You um, yeah, there's all this stuff like uh, YouTube favors us more. I guess generally we're at 18% of our subscribers hit that bell. Generally between, I think it's 10 and 25 or 30% of most channel subscribers hit that bell. So we're right in there where, you know, what is acceptable to YouTube. But if we could blow that out of the water, if y'all could just start hitting that bell and, and getting notifications from our channel. Don't um, unsubscribe yourself, though. Don't unsubscribe, but hit that bell. Profit, subscribe dude. and hit that bell, and YouTube will like us even more. And we would like love that. You, like me, Please like, like us, me. YouTube. Because um, we're going to do a lot more on YouTube in the coming months and years. Um, we've got... Huh? That's the plan. That's the plan. Lots more. Um... Uh, we have demos that we're working on and planning out. We have interviews that we're working on and planning out. Um, lots of good stuff. Tutorials. So hit that bell. Um, we will try and share a lot of this stuff to as many places as we can. Our lives will always go to Facebook, YouTube, and now Instagram, as long as everything stays the way it is. Um, but our uploaded videos will be YouTube-only videos. Uh, most likely, at least for a while. Um, so if you want to see everything that the future Allegory Gallery is going to have to offer, please subscribe to us on YouTube and hit the bell to be notified. Susan is here with us. Susan Surreal, thank you for joining us. Um, let's see, Jane Cook is here. I stopped in and bought the Tumblr. It was me. Oh, hey, Jane. Thank you. Um, we appreciate that. Um, my birthday is February 27th, so you're very near me. Come up to Johnstown and celebrate with us then. Um, and that's what one thing I do want to say, too. We were talking about, please make sure that you do follow us somewhere. Um, and, and whether that's multiple places or your favorite place, you know, whether you favor Instagram or, you, or Facebook or YouTube. Um, but we are going to have a lot of things coming up transitioning from Ligonier to Johnstown. Um, we're going to have some sales. We're going to have some, um, you know, extra bonus things going on. We're going to have some updates. We're going to have, you know, lots of stuff happening. So please do follow us somewhere and keep up to date with us. Um, our new day campaign is on our website, on our blog. And you can always check out what's happening um, right now. It kind of just uh, talks about what the New Day campaign is a little bit. And there's also a link to our GoFundMe. Um, but we will continue to update that with more important, like the most important highlights. So you can always follow it there too. But do keep up on social media because we just, if you didn't see yesterday, we shared a, uh, Andrew shared a reel um, of we went to eat next door some of the things Moxham has to offer people um, at Jada's Jazz Cafe. And um, it was good. The food was good. I'm, I'm craving it now. I know. I'm like, can I just have another po' boy right now? Um, I know. They have DoorDash and they have a lot of different, you know, food service things up there. So even if you don't make it to the cafe, please do support them through DoorDash if you're in the Johnstown area. Um, Jada's Jazz Cafe, J-A-D-A, Jazz Cafe. 
Um, they've got a wonderful menu, lots of good stuff on the menu and their desserts. I was going to eat the dessert last night, but I had it for like lunch or breakfast. Huh? Yeah. I had it for like breakfast slash lunch today and the sweet potato pie and the peach cobbler. I put some ice cream with it. Delicious. So make sure you check that out. Susan said it's snowing here. We had a little bit of snow today. Uh, no, not it much today. today. It was sunny today. We had snow overnight a little bit. When we woke up, I think there was a little bit of a dusting, but um, it's supposed to snart, start around 7 a.m., I think, and start to get pretty bad around that time, I guess. Here, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, also, we're going to be closed on Mondays um, until we are in our weekend year space. Yes. I don't know if y'all knew that. They don't yet. No one knows that yet. I was going <laughs> to work on that this weekend and we're going to publicize that. Um, but we need some time to work on the other building. So one was like, we'll just do it at night. And I was like, when our tenants are sleeping. Yeah, we can't do all the work when our tenants are sleeping. Usually, it, like in the, when we did our last space, we were up at the thing until like dawn every night. Yeah. And then work some more. Right. And we can't do that. No. So. Harry is with us here. Hello, Harry. Um, let's see who else. Carmen has joined in. Hello, Carmen. Carmen? Carmen Rodriguez. Oh, not our neighbor. No. Um, Teresa says eight to twelve inches down from fifteen here. That's a lot. That's a lot more snow. Where you at, Teresa? Oh, Connecticut. Connecticut. I think so. My in-laws in Northern Connecticut says Susan are supposed to get six to 10 inches of snow. Seattle, Tacoma area is supposed to get three inches. Um, flooding rains here says Susan. Oh no, that's not very good. Um, Cindy says, hi guys. Hello, Cindy. Um, Cheryl says we're supposed to wake up to snow tomorrow, but only an inch, but next week looks ugly. I'm not even looking that far. Not even looking that far. It changes anyway. Yeah. Marion says a two hour walk with a temperature of 20 degrees would not be pleasant. No. No. Um, I think we're still in the 30s here at least. But I got, I got maybe one or two people who like me. <laughs> He's got a few, right? Uh, let's he see here. Me, Cindy says, Ring my bell. Remember the song? Yes, I do. I do remember that song. Um, last night we were here pretty late working on stuff. Yeah, we were here about two till about two a.m. Um, working on something that we may give you a sneak peek of today too. Y'all want to see it or no? It's some metal work. Y'all want to see it? Do you want to see? Let us know in the comments if you want to see the metal work. Um, if not, you're going to see it when it's all done. So, but maybe you want a, a sneak peek. I don't know. By the way. Please. They might not turn out. That's the other thing. So. <laughs> they never turn out. Um, they look. They're they're looking good. Pretty pretty, at least so far. Most of them. So. Um, we have one failure, but that's to be expected. Yeah. Please like and share if you're watching right now. Please share with your friends. Let's expand the AG bead fam. Yeah, it's super important that we let people know that we're moving the store. Yep. So. If you, even if they don't live anywhere nearby, please help us spread the word. Mm -hmm. Our advertising budget, we're going to put a look, take a little bit of money towards it. Um, but it's still, we don't have, um, you know, a no. huge budget. So any help getting the word out about our move is essential. Yeah. Our move and just the business in general. We appreciate it. Cindy has joined in. Hello, hello. We still get people that said that they didn't know we moved. Mm -hmm. From our last location. And it's been years. four years now, four, four and a half years. Um, Cheryl says, I'm still working on today's craft book prompt, Seed Beads Everywhere. That's another thing we're going to talk about today. Um, bead in the New Year. So we have our Bead in the New Year annual calendar that we put out in, in January every year, um, almost every year. Um, 
And every day in January gets a new prompt. And we uh, ask you to do those prompts if you'd like to. Um, you can do them every day. Some people have been doing them every day. You can do them in the order that they are, or you can mix them up. And I've seen some people mix them up already. Um, yeah, um, it, it's, it's just for inspiration and for fun. Um, there aren't a lot of rules to it. The only rule we ask is please share it in the album that is created in the Allegory Gallery Design Challenge Group if you're on Facebook um, so that we can look back over the years and be able to see what everyone did. And it's collected then in one place and everybody can see all the fun everyone's having. So um, one thing I will say is you can do whatever you want, um, but because there's people who are posting in the album there, your posts will get knocked down pretty quick. Yeah, we share a lot in the design challenge group. A lot of other people do too. And if you want your stuff to get seen and commented on, it is best if you put it in the album because people know to go there and look for it. Yeah. Facebook user that. says, hello, William and Andrew. Hello. I think that makes uh, more energy too. Like more there exciting. is more energy. It's more exciting when everyone knows where to put it and can look at it and comment and knows to go right into that album and check it out and see everything. There are people who are doing it every single day. And it's really exciting for me to wake up and see what people are doing um, every day with their projects. So today was create a project from your favorite craft book. Um, so so some yeah, some of you just got re recently got some craft books from us, right? So you can use one of those or yeah. any other craft book you've got, huh? New favorite. Yeah, right. Or you can use one you've already got, or you can use one you, know, you don't have a craft book, then your favorite craft website or your favorite craft video. Um, there's no, you know, there's no police. There's no police on this, right? <laughs> so uh, that is today's prompt. And tomorrow's prompt, since we're not going to be live tomorrow <clears throat> and Sunday, no, no. Andrew says, you don't know what I'm doing. Um, anyway, Saturday will be use your favorite memory as inspiration, which we love to see what your favorite memories are, um, get to know you a little bit better. And then Sunday is repurpose one or more non-jewelry materials into a jewelry piece. So find something you've got around that's not a jewelry, technically a jewelry material, and make it into something. Um, I love those kind of prompts. Um, a lot of the found object. I, I know Ann said that she had some found objects that she wanted to use but couldn't mm -hmm. find them. Yep. So maybe that's for Sunday prompt. Could be. The found object um, projects were great too. If you've not seen them, check them out um, in the in the design challenge group on Facebook. They're um, also really good. Yeah, everything's been really great. You've all done a great job. I just partic I love found object stuff. So um, I really had a good time looking at those too. Um, you know who I, I've been. I, well, first of all, I've been impressed with everybody's work. Mm -hmm. But Wendy's work, I've been like, I get so giddy <laughs> to see her projects. Yeah, Wendy does, y'all do great work out there. Everybody's doing great work. Um, I don't always get to comment, but I see everybody's stuff. Yeah, we always check them out, which I try and do a like or a love on them all the time. So you know we're seeing them. Um, we can't always comment on everything. I've been sharing a lot of them, though, to our to our stories. Um, a lot of people have slowed down posting on Instagram. Um, so if I know we have the design challenges group and we're telling you to post there, but um, you can also post on Instagram if you're on Instagram and use the hashtag um, bead in the new year. And I search for that hashtag or if you tag us at Allegory Gallery. Um, and I share those to our stories too. So it's a great way. Um, if you want to get a little bit more exposure, you'll get them through our stories as well, especially if you're a business owner, somebody that makes jewelry for a living and you want to promote yourself a little bit, it's a great way to do that. Susan says, Johnstown sounds like an interesting town. It is. I like, it. I like Johnstown. There's a the more where you spend time there, the more I enjoy it. Yeah. And I was telling one of my friends, um, if Beth is still watching, I'd be like, you're going to have to tell me all the secret things because even though we've been going there for years and stuff, you know, we don't always know. Like, we were driving home a different way last night, 
And we saw so much stuff that mm -hmm. we didn't know. It was even there. And I was like, why am I driving to Pittsburgh? <laughs> and they got this over here. Got a lot of stuff, right? Uh, let's see. Cindy says, I'm both on Facebook and YouTube. Thank you so much. Uh, Marion says, I still want cobbler. Me too. And I had some and I still want more. Um, Cindy says, I love the showing of the new store. Uh, Marion says, it's actually 17 degrees here. Oh my. Yeah, if you missed yesterday's live, we did a quick live in the evening showing the new store space. Um, uh, we had shown that a long time ago when we were talking about Butcher Block when we first got the building. Um, but we wanted to show y'all again, um, just to refresh, or if you're brand new and you don't know what's happening, Allegory Gallery is moving from Ligonier to Johnstown into the building we showed you yesterday. Um, and we're super excited about it. So if you missed yesterday's live, please do check that out. That live got a lot of attention. Um, there were a lot of people commenting and watching it and wishing us well, so we really appreciate that. And please do check it out if you haven't seen it yet. Um... So they do. Yes. Yes, please. We're ready. Yes, please. Yes. Yes. We want to see the metal work. Yes. Um, uh, so yeah, everyone wants to see the metal work. Oh, our friend, our neighbor, Susan is here. Hello, Susan. Um, says Larry will have to tell us how the week goes. Who's Larry? I don't know who Larry is. Um, our neighbor Susan. Is that a? Are talking about? Is that a weather person that I don't watch on TV? I know. I don't know. Um, oh, maybe. I may be making stuff up. Teresa is keeping her water faucets dripping all day. Keep that keep those pipes going, right? It's a good thing. It's a good idea to keep your water dripping a little bit. Ours is, that anyway. <laughs> Ours is doing that naturally, just by itself. Yeah, we got we to gotta change out some of our faucets, but... Um, that can be our new day. <laughs> right. Our faucets are our water bills, not a gajillion dollars. Yeah, Cindy says shared. Thank you so much. June is here, says hi for a couple minutes. Sorry if I missed you already. Um, I know I'm really behind on the comments. We're talking so much. Um, Norma's working on today's prompt now using one of the books I got from you. Nice. That's awesome. Which, Which book? Andrew's asking, Norma. Um, uh, let's see. Amanda is here. Thank you for joining us, Amanda. Good to see you here. Um, Susan says, I was traveling during the book sale. Is there anything left? Yes. We didn't take pictures of what's left on this one. Um, but if you want to try for any of them, I think we still have the stack numbered here if you want to check it out. Or if you take a screenshot of the book, that's even easier and you can send it and we'll let you know if it's here. Happy to get those books out to you. Mm -hmm. I, think, I think people like this. Yeah, I think so. Um, Donna says, um, yes, Wendy's designs are pretty amazing. She, um, by, and she's kind of like a ringer because she is actually like uh, famous artist. I don't know if y'all knew that, but she wrote a bunch of children's books and shows in, in big galleries and museums and stuff. And then she designed stuff with us. I think it's so funny. Which is so nice. Um, I, I just adore her. Donna says that peach cobbler looked delicious. That was our picture. That was. No, that was not our picture. That was from, uh, I tried to make sure you could see that was from their Instagram. So you could follow them on Instagram. They don't post on Instagram very much, um, but they do post on Facebook all the time. Um, other Donna local to us, as I was in Johnstown yesterday, my kind of town. So were we, so were we doing our live up there. Um, oh, Susan says Cheryl's dog. Cheryl says, oh yeah, my Larry, <laughs> LOL. That's, that makes sense now. I was like, I was out of it. Um, Anne says, did I hear my name? If Andrew asked when I'm back to work, I went on Tuesday. I made it through this week. Oh, good. You did hear your name. <laughs> yes, you did. Um, Cheryl says, the chain style book by Jane Dickerson is my new fave. Awesome. Okay. Um, Norma did says, chain style. Chain style. Okay. Norma says, it was metal jewelry made easy. I'm doing chain mail. Oh, good. Lots of chain mail. Yeah. Do you have a chain mail problem? 
I don't know if we do this year. I don't think we have a, usually we have a chain mail prompt, but I don't think I did one this year. Um, Amanda says, it doesn't feel like Friday already. The holidays went by so quickly. You're telling me. Yeah, it did. I was having a real hard time trying to figure out what day it was. <laughs> Andrew doesn't know the day, the date. Who and am I? Where am he I? keeps asking Siri what's going on and Alexa what's happening. Now they're probably going to. I know they're probably going to talk to me now. Um, uh, let's see. Amanda says, do you have an upstairs and a downstairs at Johnstown? There's an apartment upstairs, which is rented. And there is a basement, which is an unfinished basement, um, but houses some storage and some things down there. Yeah, we got a lot of jokes. I'm not going to fill it like how we did the beige store. No, please do not. Even though we're not moving ever. <laughs> please do not. When we were moving the last store, I said, you know, we have to set aside a couple days to clear up the basement. And they're like, no, no, no. And then when it came down to it, we were up till, I think, 6 a.m., clearing out the basement we don't need to do that again i just i just remembered i had a dream last night that we i went over to our neighbor susan's house and i met all your kitties oh, really? yeah they were like they were like digging into my legs with their nose smelling my cats on me and i came over and we were talking about the cats i don't know why it's just <laughs> it just popped up in my head I know, right? That was it, that was so weird, but it was, it was you're like inviting himself over. I know you're like come on in and all the cats come running around me to smell our cats on me. That was just funny. Um uh, Marion says could do the prompt from a demo with Jen's chainmail piece. Yes, could have. Could have. And that's not to say that it may not happen in the competition we're having. Are y'all remember that? Are, did, you, did you remember you forget we're having a competition too? Um, we, we friendly competition. Um, the reveal date is going to be January 26th. It's coming up. We're like 20 days away, 21 days away. Um, we've thrown one curveball out there so far, and that was to use one of Jen's tutorials for her metal swirl component that she created. Um, so you got to incorporate that into your piece if you're playing that, that part of the competition. Um, but there's going to be some more curveballs, maybe this weekend. So if you're playing that, keep up in the Design Challenge group on Facebook. Who's joining me? Anybody out there doing the competition? I know some people are. I know somebody said that they were like in it to win it. Oh, good. They, you know, the prizes are pretty good. Um, Norma says, I ran out of jump rings, so I'm finishing it with polymer clay beads, I think. That's interesting. For the chain mail? Why not? Um, can you show you all how to make jump rings? Yeah. We can show you how to make jump rings. I don't know if Jen's ever did that on them, on any of the videos. I think she did on the component video. She showed you how to make jump rings, I think. Uh, if you got wire. you got to have wire, though. Not everyone has wire around. That's one of the most common things that sometimes you get people who come in the store and they're like frantic because they ran out of wire. Yep. And um, sometimes we have the wire and sometimes we don't. Um, but yeah, so got a lot of stuff happening right now. So we have Beat in the New Year happening. We have the Allegory Gallery 2024 design competition happening. We have the move to Johnstown happening. New day. We have the New Day campaign, which helps the move to Johnstown happen. Did you see my paintings go up? Andrew's New Day paintings went in the online store. Did you all see those? Those are available for sale. I sent out lots of emails and, and text messages. If you're not on our email or text message list, get on it. What are you waiting for? Um, the text message list is uh, a really great way for us to update you very quickly. Um, and it gives us the ability to make sure, you know, most people are going to see their text messages. Um, emails may get buried now once in a while, but um, text messages a lot of people see. So if you want to get the latest information from us, other than our Facebook and social media, 
but want to make sure you catch most important things, I send them out on the text message list. Um, they also go on the email list too. So please join those. Um, we're always looking for more subscribers there. It is, those two places are the places where we can find you even if something happens to our social media account. And we have heard horror stories about various companies, social media accounts before. So um, if you join those, you're nice and safe and secure and we can reach you if we need to. Um, let's see, Marianne says she did show us how to make jump rings, I thought so. Norma says, I can make jump rings, but I was using specific purple jump rings from a treasure box. Ah, Never mind. that makes sense. <laughs> Su Never mind. Right? Suzanne says, mine looks like Mardi Gras. Nice. 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 I can't wait to see it. Um, is Suzanne watching? That is Suzanne. Oh, when is Mardi Gras? When is Mardi Gras? Well, when does it start? Um, Donna says, nope, can't bend certain wire gauges because of my arthritis and my hands are getting worse. That makes sense. That makes sense. I'm going to put a, a sweater back on. Do you have a heater on? I do not have this little heater on. I shouldn't turn this heat on. Yeah, because we're, we're doing a painting project. Oh, oh we're doing blow anything. looks like we're not plugged in either. Let's see here. Let me go plug this in. Be right back, everybody. One moment, please. One moment, please. Talk amongst yourselves. Hmm. should be plugged in enough. We're, we're very low on cables here. Yeah, my laptop's charged enough. Heater on, set to maximum heating. <laughs> so may remind us to turn it off before we leave. I will remember to turn it off. Who wants to be the reminder? Commander doesn't believe me that I remember. Clearing things away from the heater. <laughs> we haven't had that on in a while. <sighs> Luckily, we have the fire extinguisher very close. Oh, right. <laughs> Just in case, everybody. Now we're, we're super paranoid since your job. I know. We've been like keeping the fire extinguishers very close to everything. Maybe a little too close, actually. Let's back that propulsion tank up a little bit. Um, <laughs> uh, Marion says, I have a design in my head. I just have to execute it. Good. I see, Marianne, you did your, your clean, your organize your area today. Um, I don't know if that was part of the, the, the prompts or if you just did that. Um, but beat in the new year on the 17th is organize your craft area in a way that's new to you. And um, I saw Marianne was organizing. Some people need to do that earlier, right? I should do that earlier. That's for sure. You need to do it now. I know. <laughs> um, let's see here. Mardi Gras is the beginning of... Where is it? So everything just jumped. Beginning of February, Amy says. Did those guys start earlier with the parade stuff? My comments just got messed up. That's really weird. They're overlapping each other. Anne wants a sneak peek. I see that there. Um, Andrews, uh, Terry says, yes, I told you Andrew's artwork was in a special Facebook reel that ran across the top feed in the middle of the night. That's good. I don't know what that means exactly. I don't know what that means either because I have not seen that special feed apparently. I only see my feeds of my the people I follow across the top of my page, but that's good. That's good if it came up special for you. Uh, Marion says day seventeen. Yes, that's good. We usually try and put the the um, the 
organize your your space kind of in the middle to give people a, a ramp up because some people you know, like me don't want to organize the very first thing they do in the new year um, but some people like to and sometimes it's better to do it that way i think it's good to have it in the middle because then if you don't like us who are busy then sometimes you uh, make a mess and don't clean it up and so then in the middle it's good because then you're forced to it's like a the palate cleanser so that for the rest of the month you're not tortured yep yep so okay so we've talked about a lot of stuff. Um, did anyone grab one of Andrew's art pieces for the new day? Um, if you didn't see, the three by four paintings have been released. He has not released any of the large ones. Sorry, but I've got a hair that I can see, but I can't figure out where it is. Um, he hasn't released any of the larger ones yet. He's still working on those. So larger ones are coming, but... Um, and then the last batch of them are coming soon too of the little ones, the three by fours. Um, but there are many of them available on the website and so many. <laughs> it has been doing a lot of them, but a lot of them have been selling. So, um, I, yeah, we sold a, a number of them again today. The last time I checked, it was like one sold, or two <laughs> sold. And I was like, Oh my I think gosh, we sold I just spend weeks on this stuff and then nobody wanted it at all. I think we sold four or so today, four or five of them today, maybe. Oh, good. So I got a little bit discouraged the first time. Yeah, Andrew's like, should I even finish this series? I was like, because I got other stuff I can do. Like we can do other things. I um, could braid my leg hair and <laughs> have that be more productive. Take a video of you braiding your leg hair. Who knows who who will pay for that? I know. <laughs> um, leg hair braiding you didn't know it was a thing right 2024 a new trend <laughs> um donna's is cleanest studio i haven't caught up since christmas right yep um i'm with you that's for sure that's the, for sure the bead room looks a disaster yeah we've shown you this though you've we've seen been, it, it, got worse. it got worse. i made some paths but it's in it's like you know it's like you make a little bit of progress and then it fills back in. It's true. It's I feel true. bad for Jen when she comes over to do filming, you have to like tiptoe <laughs> over all this stuff and like, like I hope your knees are good. <laughs> playing hopscotch. Yeah. So today we are going to show you some acrylic pendants. We are going to have a Chinese crystal strand sale. Andrew's going to do a demo on how you, you can take these acrylic pendants and do a scrimshaw like technique to darken the text that's on them. Um, we had some people say they wanted it dark and some that's not. Yeah. And um, if you can do it yourself, then that's then you have complete control. Right. Yes. Over it instead of. So the majority of people on the live the other night said they'd rather have them as they are and have the demo. So that's what we're that's how we're going to sell them to you. Also, if you don't like the color I pick, then you then, can do your own color. Then you can do whatever you want, right? And then we're going to give you maybe a sneak peek of the new metal pieces we're working on that I was helping with actually. Um, and then you were uh, very good. You came and helped, even though you didn't want to. No, it was late at night, and I thought I had to get up for work today, and I was not happy about it, but I still did it. Um, By the end of it, I think you were happy. Yeah, but I was also ready to go at the very end. Well, me too. <laughs> He's like me too. Um, uh, so we are. I also have a lot of sublimation work. All this stuff behind me. After. Andrew does his demo and I get these things in the online store for y'all. Hopefully I'll get them in there. I'm going to finish the pendants and he's going to work on the sublimation. Yeah, Andrew's going to finish the metal work and I'm going to work on some orders for all of your sublimation. And hopefully we'll get uh, any orders that are still on hold right now, um, which should just be pretty much this week's orders or partially this week's orders. Um, we'll go out starting on Monday again for y'all. We're trying to get that stuff out to you. Um, who has gotten any of the mini charms that we put out? We talked about them like once. 
and never, never discussed them again. Um, but I saw an order for them go out again today or come in today. And I was wondering, have any of you gotten the mini wooden pendant charms that we've created? And if you have gotten them, have you started working with them or what do you think of them? I do like them. Do you like them? Do you hate them? How's it going? Um, Anne says, I'm really enjoying everyone's projects. I really like Wendy's sense of color. Um, Donna says, Anne, your pieces are amazing. Mm -hmm. um, and I agree about Wendy. Amy says, let's see here. I do crafts. I start new projects before I finish old ones is my workspace right now. That's right. That's right. Um, people are saying my it looks like a train wreck. Uh, Marion says, I only did one part of one of my spaces. Lots more to do. Um, talking about Mardi Gras and when it starts. Conflicting ideas, I guess. Pancake Tuesday is actual Mardi Gras day. Amy says, Fat Tuesday. Uh, Donna says, that's right. Also, a little known fact, Mardi Gras started in Mobile, Alabama. Uh, Amy says, I learned that from a co-worker that used to live there, too. Um, Susan says, I thought Mardi Gras traditionally starts on 12th night or January 6th. So I don't know. We don't have an answer, <laughs> do we? What? I know. Susan says, tomorrow is the start of Mardi Gras. Are you kidding me? So that's the 6th. So that's for like a month? <laughs> they go wild for a month. Because we, one time we were driving to, to or from Tucson, and we are like, oh, we're going to stop in uh, New Orleans. And then we looked, and it was in the middle of Mardi Gras. And I was like, forget it. <laughs> and oh. then plus, our the van was loaded down, packed to the ceiling. You couldn't even see light over it with stuff. I yeah, said, that, no way. That's how our car gets broken immediately. <laughs> Oh, good. Norma says, I got my mini turtles and I love them. Haven't used them yet, though. Good. Yeah, if you haven't seen, uh, we put out mini charm pendants. So we did a number of our wooden pendants um, in mini size. Mostly a lot of the aquatic creatures. Um, we did the sea turtles. I did the sea horses. Um, I think we did the octopus. We did the jackalope. We did, can't remember now. We did a few of them. There were like six or seven, I think, all together. So if you did not um, see those, please check them out. Um, they should be in the wooden pendant, I believe, the wooden pendant section of our website. Um, and now I'm gonna check that just to make sure they got there. Yes, so the octopus, the seahorse, the sea turtles, the hamsa, that was the other one, and the jackalope. And they're all available in the maple, walnut, or cherry woods. Um, and we show you all three of the colors or wood types there so you can pick and choose. Um, I hope you win the lotto so I can go to Tucson. Who's winning the lotto? Me? Yeah, we'll have to stop and play. I'll I was going to say, I got to play. Um, Julie says, I need to email. Would love to have a large painting of the blue side of the mug from Andrew's artwork. Those mugs are all developed from artwork that he will produce, but um, sooner or later that is going to be released. Maybe next week. Um, we had our, okay, so <laughs> we have a show that ended at the beginning of December. And we've been kind of slow to send it back because, um, so that's another thing. If you want to get that last minute, <laughs> email us about any of that spooky, creepy stuff. Yeah, I think it's all, I think we took it down from the website, but if it's, if some if of it's still in store. burning in your mind. Yes, yeah. get it now. Some of it has already gone back. Yes. We've been shipping out and delivering as time goes, but um, I, I did, I know I, that that was supposed to be like the last show, but I kind of didn't want it to be the last show. So I'm gonna put the, I started working on those bigger pieces 
and then hopefully we'll have that be the last. Andrew's gonna wrap up Allegory Gallery's last arch. Wrap up wall. Last one. Or, uh, project, project wall. wall. Uh, Marion says five designs. Yes, we we had some more planned, but we did five. So five of the charm designs are out there. Um, Suzanne says planning to order some charms. Thank you. Julie says yes or similar would be good. I got I got some stuff for you. <laughs> Many things. Many things. Um, I've been collaging like crazy. Our living room. The cats there, like, what is this wonderland of cut paper? They're liking it, those kittens, those kittens. Hi, Deba, she has turned into my little helper. Pretty cute. She's pretty cute. All right, everybody. So Let's let me... do the crystal. What? Crystal. Crystal first? Crystal first. You'll or make you people... want to see the pendant, pendants the... first? Who wants the pendants the first? Because the... I know a lot of y'all came here... Probably. You didn't know they got a crystal. No, and you came here probably for the demo, which is going to be the last thing probably anyway. So it probably doesn't matter, but if you all have a, a, a want to pick, we'll go with the popular vote on do you want to see the crystal first or do you want to see the pendants first? Probably the crystal. We'll go fast. The crystal probably because we're going to talk about the pendants and he's going to do the demo with the pendants. So you should probably just keep that all together. I've made the decision. We're going to look at the crystal now. All right, flip it. Let's flip it. Let's flip it. I was going to show the pendants, but I guess Andrew's going to do all this now. You told me with your mouth full that you needed time to I do. Them. I do. That's what that that's why this is working out even better. With my mouth hole. You hear that everybody? They see the true true. Go pull up Instagram so I know who's talking. There you go. Things like people don't get shocked. <laughs> this so, is like I thought you were nice, Sandra. <laughs> no. This is Williams World here. You're getting a, a real view of. Did you send Barbara uh, McFadden stuff yet? I think so. Is think this it? Huh? No, those were made for hers, but those are a little bit different. Did you find the chains already? Yep. Hello, everyone. Um, so here's a penny. It's been a while. So many things have been happening in my life hole. I need to take these. Okay. And give them back to you. I'm not ready for them anyway. I know. He's doing something. All right. So I see a couple people, more people have tuned in. Our friend Laura's watching. Ali's watching. Howdy. Um, all right. So as some of you know, we do buyouts pretty frequently and it takes us a long time sometimes to list stuff. Um, and sometimes I don't want to list it because I want to keep it. And this is sparkly. And if you know me, I'm a little bit of a dragon. Who of you out there has a little bit of the dragon heart? Not in the way that you share a heart with a bratty prince, but um, <laughs> in the way that um, you have, you want to be like Smog and go and sit on the treasure hoard. Who doesn't want to sit on a treasure hoard? I don't know. I just, I just thought about that in my mind. I was like, I don't know if I want to sit on a thing of beads. Could be pokey. Um, all right. Um, all right, so here you go. Julie says she loves me. Thank you. Lots of love back. All right, so do you have calipers over here? Is that the one that worked? No, none of them work. How come? None of them have batteries. Is that one work? No, none of them have batteries. You can use this. This one works. Lies. Does it? All right, so this is, so we're going to do, um, so we're going to do some Chinese crystal today. Um, I think they're fun. I think that the price is pretty good. We kind of did a thing where we averaged out all the prices. So, um, so I think you're going to get some really good deals on some crystal today. Um, and these ones 
are really, really pretty. They're like a mercury glass silver. They're faceted rounds. And I believe Donna's watching. Hey, Donna. That these are about four millimeter. Yeah, let's go with four. It says four four point three, but can you really trust that? All right, Sandra's watching. Hey, Sandra. All right, so this is NDC one at seven dollars, and you get this strand. Now, some of these we have multiple lots here. Let me put that banner up so in case anybody's curious how to claim these. Pretty much, y'all are are long long time die hard folks so y'all already know how to do this but if you see something you like please send us an email to info at allegorygallery.com please include the um, lot that you would like and uh, it's first come first serve and um, if we don't have your preferred billing email address include that if it's different than the one that you have emailed us from because sometimes that like I'll do that I'll email somebody for something but our mailing or our, our business email is different than my personal and then what else if you are shipping address we'll need your shipping address as well if it is changed or if you haven't purchased that from us before and that's mostly so we can figure out um, sales tax did I miss anything? I think you're all good. Um, if you don't live in Pennsylvania, you don't have to pay sales tax yet. But if you live in Pennsylvania, you have to pay sales tax so we don't get in the jail. Yes. We don't so, want to go in the jail. No jail time, please. Um, Susan says, do we claim by email? Correct. Um, I put the ticker take parade down at the bottom. What's that really called? Ticker? Ticker? I, call it. I don't know. It's like the stock market, except our slow <laughs> email across the end. Um, so yeah, so this is NDC1. It's silvery sparkle, faceted round, four millimeter crystal, Chinese crystal. ND1. NDC1. <coughs> All right, up next, more sparkle. Um, this is NDC2, also $7. This is like a cornerless cube, and it's got a beautiful... Y'all getting bewitched. I could do this all day. Let, let we could do this. Let, put the Somebody put the club music on, and we'll do this. That would be great for Mardi Gras. It would be very festive. Um, and so I don't know if you can see this or not. But they're like cornerless cubes. And this is NDC2, $7 for the strand. Some of them I have multiple strands for. Some of them I don't. Um, I was going to count everything, but I ran out of time. So um, just put that in your mind that we may have more. So some of them I have like a bunch, but then some of them I have one or two of. So you just never know. May the odds be ever in your favor, but not in children murdering each other kind of way. If you don't know what I'm talking about, that's Hunger Games. So y'all don't think I'm like super weird or weirder. I don't know, whatever. That's not my problem. <laughs> and these are, if I was on the screen, about four. Maybe this needs to get recalibrated. All right, let's see. These are about four by, by five. So they're four by five, kind of like a rectangular cube. And it's got an AV finish, very sparkly. Y'all like that? All right. So up next. N D C three seven dollars. Now these are also an A B finish. These are a faceted kind of. Uh, you call that rice? Would you call that rice? Yeah, A B. So it's like a pale, um, smoky lavender. It's like a smoky amethyst, real pale. 
And it's got a super vivid AB finish on that. That's NDC3, $7. Super shiny bright. See, the numbers drop when I come on. What are you doing to everybody? They like the sound of your voice. How many people are watching? By half now. What? There's like 14 people? It's like one. One is the loneliest number. What are you doing? I don't know. All right. NDC4. NDC4. The Hour of Power. $7. <laughs> That's the stop. I'm so broke. I can't. I got to pay my mortgage. We got a couple mortgages to pay. <laughs> All right. So this one is uh, Chinese crystal faceted um, twisted coin. Cindy said they're bidding. Oh, good. Good. Help me pay that mortgage. Help me pay that moving bill. I would love, love, love to pay for movers for the heavy stuff. Let oh me just tell you, dreaming. I know, maybe we find somebody on Craigslist. You have to be insured. If you get hurt, that's your own business. <laughs> <laughs> try try not to hurt yourself. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to drag you up to the sidewalk. I said the insurance <laughs> don't cover out here. Bye. <laughs> All right. I'm getting wild now. I'm trying to stay positive. <laughs> Y'all, y'all want comedy hour or crying time? Crying time, I could do real easy. Um, so let's let's do non-crying time. Yeah, that's probably good. was like danger, 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 danger. Stick with comedy. Uh, maybe I'll get a job at uh, Jada's across the street. Jokes at Jada's. Jokes at Jada's. It'd be like the hour of power with Andy TT. All right, NDC four seven dollars for this strand, and you get this nice amethyst kinds of tanzanite color of this Chinese uh, crystal, very sparkly still, and it's kind of cool. I like these. I think these would make really great earrings or a very blingy necklace. Uh, I think earrings. That's where I would probably go. Um, Julie says, "What's the color?" It's like this amethyst color or tanzanite. Um, what's NDC4? That's this. This is NDC4. $7. Oh, the size? Um, it's about 14 millimeter. Boy, my fingers look crusty from all that metal work. All right. 6.6 6 millimeter. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a, now that's nine. So, or that's a seven was a nine. So it's about seven. All right. Is NDC for crystal? All of it's uh, Chinese crystal today. All of the strands are Chinese crystal today. So basically it's glass that they have lead in it. And I know sometimes people think they get scared when they hear the word lead, but it's what makes crystals shiny and sparkly and the colors pop. Um, and people have been using it for millennia. Um, if you grind it down into a powder and then start eating it, then you're gonna have problems. Um, generally speaking, I don't grind down my beads and snort them. So, um, you should be fine. You shouldn't either. Yeah, you should not do that anyways. <laughs> so this is NDC5. It's $7. It's a beautiful AB finish bicone. It's in a teal color. Um, very, very pretty. Julie says, it's not like you're sucking on that. Well, you shouldn't. Let, let's just say this not teething, this not teething jewelry, not for the teething jewelry. Um, so this is a beautiful um, teal color bicon with AB finish. 
Um, and since I got them, they're the cutest. Oh, good. All right. So this is um, NDC five seven dollars for this string. And let me see how the how big the bike is. You know, this if I measure all of them, we're gonna be here a while. We're just gonna have to enjoy each other's company for a long time. Um, so this is 8.3 millimeters, but that's, you know, I kind of feel like a lot of this is hand faceted. So a lot of them are a little bit wonka do it all, just a little bit. So 7.7, .7, either that or my calipers are off, whatever. So I would say seven by eight or so. All right, so that's NDC5, $7 for these bike owns. I love this color, teal, I love teal. Let me tell you, one of our wedding presents was, uh, how you call it, Le Creuset? Is that how you call them pots? Um, we got one in teal, and I literally weeped with joy. It was nice. Um, all right. Marion said, I have no other plans this evening. All right, buckle up. So this is NDC6, $7. Susan says, I wasn't planning on eating the beads. That's good. Don't do. Don't eat. Um, so this color is kind of like a whiskey color with a gold finish. So these are bicones, faceted bicones, Chinese crystal. Um, it's a beautiful, warm, ambery. This is that 8 by 5 by um by seven point two ish all right so this is ndc six and seven dollars and like i said i may have more strands of these tucked away um i actually have a wall of crystal um and huh what did you say, William? Oh, I thought he was he was making a sound at me. You know? Um, so NDC six, uh, seven dollars is beautiful gold luster on that kind of whiskey brown kind of ambery color. Um Susan says I do too. My cousin just painted her front door in a teal color. Um, oh, nice. I bet that looks nice. That might look nice on our house. Except our house has a wooden door that was carved. So I kind of am remiss to, to do anything like that. So these are uh, kind of ronde or These are rounds, technically rounds. They're rounds. They're little faceted garnet colored rounds. These are all uh, faceted um, Chinese crystal. Um, it's NDC7, $7, $7 for the strand. Um, and I think these ones are about four millimeter. Let's see, 3.5, 3.5 millimeter. All right. That's a pretty color. That's a useful color. If you're going to make any kind of um, uh, St. Valentine's Day um, jewelry, maybe that's for you. So that's NDC7, $7. $7. All right. So up next, NDC8, $7 also. This is that faceted bicone. You've got that kind of smoky uh, lavender color, with, but hit with a gold luster. So those are really beautiful, really useful as, uh, to add a little bit of bling to your projects. Um, and these are about six millimeter on the girdle, and then about six millimeter 
long. All right. So I think these are really pretty. I did a kit a long time ago, and it was called um, something Ether. Do y'all remember that? It was a steampunk kit, and I did it in shades of kind of this kind of antique bronze and real pale lavender. And at that point, nobody, everybody was doing like browns and 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 gray and black and like vintage brass color. And that was nice, but I kind of, you know, I think there's an opportunity for color sometimes. And um, so that was a fun kit to make. Um, I can't remember what that was, what that kit was, something ether. All right, and DC8. And these would have been great in that kit. All right. All right. Up next. These are useful. Um, this is um, NDC9. And I started stapling these on because um, I don't want them to get loose. And we were using plastic bags to keep everything kind of organized. And we were going through like 1 million plastic bags. So um, this is my, my very high-tech way of reducing our consumption of plastic bags. So this is like a, a black kind of... Um, a black with kind of a hematite finish. So these are really beautiful. These are rondelles, faceted rondelles, Chinese crystal. These are approximately 4.5 millimeters by, um, by about, this says 5.7. So I guess that's, that would be like, Four point five by um, by six ish. All right. So this is NDC nine seven dollars for the strand. If you're interested, you know what to do. Send us an email at info at allegorygallery dot com. And um, yeah. First come, first serve. Now, I know some people, I love this shape. This is NDC10, $7. It's that rice shape again. This time, it's that smoky amethyst with the AB finish. The other one we had uh, is similar, but this is a little bit more purpley. All right. I need to go quicker. Otherwise, we're going to be here until the end of time. Um, so, NDC10, $7. All right. Up next, we've got NDC11. And it's $7 as well. It's this beautiful um, faceted rondelles. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you, and then if you have a questions on sizes, then we'll stop and do sizes. But otherwise it just takes so long if I do every single one. So, and this is a beautiful kind of amethyst color. Um, and there you go, NDC11. Seven dollars for this strand of beautiful amethyst colored Chinese crystal. Mm -hmm. Beautiful color. I love this color, y'all. Obviously. All right. NDC twelve. These are that rice shape, but it's just a wee bit bigger. It's that kind of smoky whisk or that whiskey color, that um, warm brown, ambery brown color with an AB finish. These are really pretty Chinese crystal. 
Um, I might have put this in a kit, but I probably put like one or two in each kit. And now you're getting like a whole strand. So I'm gonna put this down. And um, next to the magic penny and shift my leg because my leg is falling asleep. Oh, we got a couple more people on Instagram watching. Hello, friends. Welcome to our Friday night extravaganza of fun. And then let's go on to NDC 13. And it's this beautiful kind of um, greenish, lemony color, like an unripe lemon. I don't know if that makes it sound appealing or not. But it's got kind of a gold luster. So it's a green that is kind of like an olivey, olivine green with a gold luster. So it brings out those kind of yellow hues in the green. I don't know if you can see that real good or not. These are beautiful. Um, NDC, $13, $7. And that shape is not quite the right shape. And it's not quite like a faceted. It's like in between. All right. Let me back up for a second and try not to hit the tripod. All right. My leg fell asleep, y'all, because I was using it as a table. Um, Marion says more like olive to me. Yeah, it's kind of a lemony green color. I don't know if you can see that. Like olive, I think, has a little bit more blue. But that also could be the gold luster throwing it into that shade that to look you know sometimes when they put a finish on a bead it changes the color it changes the the way that color looks does that make sense okay so up next we've got another of that kind of strand this is a very pale kind of um gray but it's got an ab finish kind of like a labradorite vibe And you get a strand of that. That's NDC 14, $7. And it's a beautiful. That is the remind me of like a labradorite. And all those pretty, 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 pretty um, um, AB labradorite colors. Um, Marion says, that's the color of Castle Travano olives. I don't know of such things. William doesn't like olives, so we don't eat a lot of olives. Um, all right, NDC 15. This is kind of a very kind of smoky clear with an AB finish. And if these were S word, when it's not completely clear, they would call it black diamond or satin. And then uh, it would be a little bit more smoky in the color. Man says, I don't eat, but I do sell them. So these are really beautiful, very sparkly. This would be great for. If you do anything like window, window, like, uh, what do they call that? Light catcher? How do you call that? Sun catcher. If you had this in the window, that'll shoot off rainbows in every which way. Be very nice. Um, all right. NDC 15, $7 for the strand. And this AB finish is a little bit more blue. So it's like blue and kind of a smoky gray um, clear. All right. Up next, we've got um, 
Uh, this one, this one's a useful color. All right, NDC 16, $7. And these are, are a faceted round, and they're in a kind of aqua, sky blue, more aqua color, um, Chinese crystal. What do y'all think? That's useful, I think. All right. Now this one, this one, I love this one. All right, NDC 17. This is a silver color. So what I'm guessing is that they did like a black or jet core and then put that real heavy silver um, finish on them. So they look like they're metal. Like that looks really glitzy. Like if you were after that, um, that like punk glam or that kind of rock star glam, I would do that. That's a beautiful, look how they sparkle y'all. And I'm not even like shining a light besides the light that we use for, for the videos. All right, so that was NDC 17. Moving on, I'm trying to go a little bit quicker because I have the way of looking at something for about five hours and then people are like, hello, hello, can we move on? All right, so this is kind of a, a pinky purple movie color. It's a bicone, faceted Chinese crystal bicone. And it's got that kind of, uh, it's a, a very pale shade of like a kind of lilac y almost, kind of mauve y. It's not quite a pink, it's not quite a purple. Purple. Oh, there you go. You know, we used to have um, this sandwich. I can't eat it now, anyways, because it had chicken on it. But it was a tapenade made from ground olives, and it was good. It had a slight fruitiness to it with that salty brine. That was delicious. All right, who's ready to go to the party? NDC, $19, $7. Whoa. Welcome to the party, y'all. Wonder Woman, 1984, up in here. It's got that AB finish. I love a good AB finish, y'all. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to just tell you the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. Um, I do love a good AB finish. I think it's it can be transcendental. All right, and DC 19, $7. This is a, like a party rainbow AB finish. And yeah. Um, Susan said the last one, orchid. I would call it that. That'd be orchid color. But these ones, welcome to the disco, y'all. They're rondelles, was is beautiful. Those would go well with uh, that. those cornerless cubes. All right, up next, NDC20. Like this cobalty blue. Mm -hmm. Susan says, I love olive top and on. Uh, I need to experiment with it. William doesn't like olives, so I haven't. Um, I haven't really pushed it, but you know, I think maybe if he tried it and he didn't know what it was, he would like it. Maybe. I don't know if William would like that or not. If I sneak stuff in and says surprise, but it's like, he doesn't like avocados, but he'll eat guacamole. I don't know what that's about. I'm talking S-H-I-T, uh, but in a loving way. I'm trying to do 
job. He's over. trying like real hard to focus. I'm like, wonder if I could trick him to eat some. Suzanne said, olives are nasty. Susan says, ugh, that Wonder Woman movie was the worst. But you know what? The ads for that movie were so pretty. Like, they did, like, a, I don't know if they made, like, a deal with um, S-Word, but they did, like, all these prismatic colors. But I agree, the movie was not my favorite. And I, I was like, what am I watching? But um, I like the first one. The first one was good. Um, Cindy said, olives on pizza, yum. Um, and DC21, we're learning all about y'all and your olive preferences. You know, I don't, I'll eat, uh, olives on pizza, but I would, if I, it's up to me, I will not put them on. And I don't know why. All right, y'all, here's this one. This is a multicolor strand. You got that smoky purple, you got that green, you got that tealy um, blue. So you got them those colors and then you got a gold finish on them to bring them all together. This is another party strand. This is a little bit larger in diameter of the faceted rounds. And there you go. Cindy said sausage and olive, yummy. Susan says, don't do that to William. Too devious. Well, we'll see. We'll see what he gets for his birthday. No, I wouldn't do that. That's called how you called uh, uh, an unpleasant time. Him scowling at me as I'm like, here, look what I made to eat. Well, that's one way of like reducing, I don't know. Anyway, so ND22 is up next. NDC22, $7. This beautiful like champagne color. Pale, real pale gold. Kind of that. Um, if it was S word, I'd probably call that like golden shadow. And if you're just tuning in, there are instructions at the bottom of how you claim. You can send it to us in an email at info at allegorygallery.com. It's first come, first serve, but I do have more of some of them. So we'll just have to go through and look, all right? So is there any foods that you don't like? Mine is... Y'all probably know this because I've told this story a bunch, but I am not a big fan of black licorice. All right. NDC23, $7. And this is that metallic blue color that was super popular. I think it was a Pantone color at one point. That metallic blue. It's got a really blue, blue beetle. Real beautiful. There's almost a red luster to this. So, um, you know how sometimes they'll put, um, there will be like a blue, but it have a little bit of interference red. I feel like they put a little bit of that red to kind of warm it up and to keep it a little bit, um, it's almost purpley in its metallicness. All right. Um, and DC 23, $7. Marian says, since my favorite pizza is Hawaiian, not um, um, not ever going to add olives, LOL. Although my other pizza choice is usually tomatoes, peppers, and onions, veggie lovers. Um, Cindy says, hate black licorice also and hate beets. I like beets, okay. It just depends. Um, I'm not a big fan of canned beets, but fresh beets I'm I I I like. But I'll eat the the canned ones up. William he loves that those canned beets is a treat. I could think I gave myself a heart attack because I ate some beets and then I went to the bathroom, and then it had died my 
urine, r- bright, vivid red. And I got concerned for a second. And then I realized I remembered I had eaten beets. TMI, y'all. TMI on Friday. Friday party of TMI. Um, Amy says, don't like black licorice either, but I like Pazelle's. Yeah, the anise flavor in that. I think there's a difference between like fake black licorice flavor and like anise seeds. I know they're technically the same, but I feel like they're different enough um, that that they're different enough that Cheryl says, whoa, that was spilling on too much tea. Beet juice tea. Cindy says, Hawaiian pizza with pepperoni and onions and, of course, pineapple. Yummy, yummy. So do you all like pineapple on your pizza? Yes. William says, yes. We haven't had pizza in, like, a long time because for health purposes... He said that's what he had eating when he had his AFib. But I crave it. So I'm thinking about like sneaking out and having pizza. Well, I made some food. You gotta eat it. I made soup. And then I made mushroom something. All right. Amy says it's like that with red velvet cake. Slight panic. Yeah, I made... um, red velvet once and um so this is ndc 24 seven dollar this is like that they call it hyacinth color but it's like that intense orangey red um but anyway so i made that uh red velvet cake and um uh it stained the countertop because I guess some of the the beater got onto the countertop. It was so red that it stained the countertop. People who ate that cake, because I guess I didn't understand the directions or something, but I must have put way too much food coloring, which, you know, I realize now that that's not such a good thing because um, food color allergies um, run in my family. Um, but anyway, so... Yeah, I brought this to a party and it looked like like we were filming a scene from like True Blood or something. Everybody look, had their teeth were all like vivid red and pink. I was like, oh, what did I do? Anyways, NDC $24, $7 for this beautiful hyacinth orange, which is like an orangey red or reddish orange. Oh, Anne says, Amethyst Ether. That's the name of it. Um, Susan says, yes, what my mom grew up with, real licorice. Susan says, oh, I adore red velvet cake. You know, I um, red velvet cake is a very... I was learn. I was doing a recipe for that, and some of them I think you put like vinegar in it. It's so weird. Um, but yeah, so that was N D C twenty four, and then here we go N D C twenty five seven dollars. These are like that mini rice shape, but in kind of that aqua y blue. And that's this. That's the uh, Chinese crystal. I would say this is probably, maybe not vintage, but these are probably from like 10 years ago or so. So that's not vintage. What's a word that's in between vintage and new? I don't know. Um, Cindy says, the frosting on red velvet cake, love it. The cream cheese frosting. Or um, do y'all remember that movie, Steel Magnolia, when she makes the armadillo cake and she used the inside is red velvet cake. And then everybody's like horrified and they're like, gray icing? How you even get gray icing? All right. 
And DC 26, $7. This is um, more of that Chinese crystal that we've got. This is a little bit uh, of that garnety red color. And it's a rondelle. This is on set retro. Jermaine says old. How do you say that donut? P A C Z K I. How you call that, William? P A C Z K I. I know that we, they have that around here. They're those donuts. I don't, know what that is. I don't know what makes them different, but I remember them selling them in Pittsburgh. Is it because of the vinegar? I don't know. I'm making stuff up. Punsky. Cindy said, so last decade. Correct. Yeah, this is not new, but it, I wouldn't call them old. Man says, I love licorice, all sorts too, and dark. Ooh, what happened there? The comments got wonka doodle. Um, Potchkey. Oh, Susan, our neighbor, says Oak Mountain Bakery makes very good ones. Um, let me see if I can show. Okay. Anne says, Mary, I love licorice, all sorts too, and dark chocolate covered chocolate licorice. I've had a few people bring that back from Iceland. You know, um, we got we went to the world food marketplace and we got this thing for William. It was salty licorice. I tried a piece just to be, you know, um, in case I, I, you know, sometimes you don't like something as a child and then you're like, well, as an adult, then you're like, oh, I love it. Like there are these kids, they were talking about how people didn't like mushrooms. And I was like, did I not like mushrooms as a child? But I don't know, but I love them now. So anyways, I tried that salty licorice just as an experiment to see. And you know what? I, 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 I stand by my childhood self. And I, I, I had a little bit of a dry heaving situation. Um, but that, that's, uh, you know, I guess that memory is burnt in. All right. Anyways, NDC, $26, $7, Garnet Rondells. Um, Cindy says, while Anne is growing on the Channel Islands off of California. Ooh, that sounds fancy. All right, we're going to go back to the party colors. These are useful. These are tiny little bicones. NDC 27, $7 for a whole strand of these. That's that multicolor mix and match. So there's a green, there's like a blue, and there's a pale kind of um, smoky amethyst, but with the AB coating to bring them all together. So that's NDC twenty-seven seven dollars for the whole thing. Man, so don't really like the salty licorice from Hulk. Yeah, me neither. Times ten. <coughs> All right. <coughs> so there's going to be a slight price increase in the upcoming strands, um, and they're just bigger beads. So. Normally, these are more, but we averaged everything out, so. Um, all right, so this is NDC 28, $8. These are the larger uh, clear crystal faceted rounds, Chinese crystal. I know I said I wouldn't measure them, but these are 8 millimeter. So lots of stuff I showed just now was like 6 six millimeter ish and then these are coming up to eight millimeter and above all right so this is ndc 28 sparkly this is great for winter wintery things or a good filler or if you're gonna make the sun catchers i think that'd be really beautiful they'd shoot out rainbows in every direction 
when I was a kid, we went to the flea market and we had this prism. And that was like the most fought over thing for this little piece of acrylic plastic that was in a prism. Oh my goodness. The battles were epic over that piece of plaster. All right. NDC 29. It's a very vibrant orangey yellow, honey yellow color. This is also probably an eight millimeter strand. NDC 29, $8 for this strand. Again, very sparkly, very pretty. Um, I know some people don't like yellow, but this is a very beautiful, almost orangey, honey, ambery kind of yellow. Very pretty. Moving on. We're going to go to uh, NDC 30. And it's kind of that purple color, more of a warmer purple with a little bit of undertone of that red. You know how uh, purple can either have the undertone of red or blue. This is more of a warmer purple. So it almost looks brown in some lights, but it's got that kind of beautiful um, color. All right, and that is um, NDC thirty eight dollars for the strand. Um, and like I said, some of these strands I have multiple lot, um, multiple multiple lots of, but I went through them so quick that I didn't see which ones I had. All right, this is NDC thirty one eight dollars for the strand. This is that metallic blue. Um, that's like a Pepsi can blue. You all know what I'm talking about? This was a Pantone color maybe two years ago, three years ago. I can't remember. But still, you see a lot of stuff being made still with that kind of color palette. All right. Moving on. This is where we get kind of speedy, speedy, speedy. At least speedy for me so that we can land the plane. All right. And DC 32, $8. You've got that. Um, it's a very like glacial um, clear, like a crystal clear, but it's got that. Um, it's got that um, silver. You know, I'm not trying to make my hands shake, but they are. But that makes it just shine. So we're just going to roll with it. So the more I think about it, the more they start shaking. So anyway, so this is like that beautiful clear with a silver finish on them. These are, these are not eight millimeter. These are six. But the, I think this is slightly longer strand. Still $8. I think originally it was like 12 or something. So very pretty. If you're interested in those, you know what to do. Send us an email at info at allegorygallery.com. All right, moving on to the Hour of Power. NDC 33. Norma says, ooh, NDC 31 is a beautiful color. Oh, good. So this is um, a red, but it's like a light red. So if this was S-word, I would call this light Siam. And it's like a blood red for, no, I don't know. That's not blood red. But... It is a beautiful kind of light orangey, almost orangey red. It's not quite orange. It's not quite like that. Like this is the difference. This is that one we had before, which is a little bit more orange and this is a little bit more red. So you can see the difference, but still really beautiful light red. That's NDC 33, $8 for the SRAM. These are probably eight millimeter. 
go like that. Faceted rounds. All right. Just two more to go of the Chinese crystal before I put y'all to sleep. All right. So this is NDC 34, $8. And this is a gold luster on here. Gold finish. Very metallic. Eight millimeter Chinese crystal. All right. William. So timing perfect. And then uh, NDC $35, $8 for this strand. And then this is uh, kind of a black, but it's got kind of a blue to it. So it's probably a dark blue with a metallic finish. Let me look at this side. What color do you call this? This black, this eight millimeter black. But it's got kind of like a silvery. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to it's call that. Purpley blue black. So here, here black you go. Black labradorite. Okay. <laughs> there you go. What'd y'all think of that surprise? Now William's going to take over so that my voice can have a minute to. Oh, am I? Correct. Okay. Um. We have a person on Instagram, Stop Hella Hell. What is this? Stop Hell Cook. It said beautiful. Thank you. We put my jacket on. Chilly. Oh, yeah. I turned up the heat a little bit. All right, everybody. Let me move this in here real quick. My painting board? Yes. That I take pictures on now because it's perfect. It gives me the right color balance on things pretty well. All right. Layers and layers. This is what you call quality repairs, y'all. Staples. Staples. All right, everybody. So we have come up with a beautiful assortment of colors for these acrylic pendants. Now we showed you the quotes. Um, and I'm going to go through them each again, I think. And these here. kind of coordinate with the colors from the painting. So Andrew is going to show you how to color in these words if you want to make them pop a little more. But so many of you wanted them as is and then wanted the demo on how to do that. that Because um, we were going to originally color them all in ourselves. And you all said, no, we want to know how to do it but we want them left as is in case we don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. or if you want a different color. If you want a different color than what he's going to add. So there are different colors, as you can see, um, available on the website. Now, I did not get to make one of each pendant in every single color. So when you go to our website right now, and you choose these, there's an important note on the website. You'll be able to pick your quote, and then pick your color. We figured color is the most important thing that you're going to want to see. So when you pick the quote and then you pick your color, the color is going to pop up as the main image, but it may not be the quote you've selected. That's okay. You will always receive the quote you selected um, when you place your order, but we are giving you an example of the color um, more than the quote. You can see the quotes, though, in the group photos that I've taken on the website. So pick your quote, pick your color. Yeah. And you will see a picture that pops up when you do that. It may not be your quote. That's okay. It's giving you a, a, an idea of what the color is. Um, I hope that makes sense. Um, makes sense to me. Okay, good. And as time goes on, as we make more of these, I will get a picture probably of every single one up there. But for now, just to get these out the door, because um, we're not going to make a ton of them if no one wants them anyway. So I wish they had teal. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? So um, that would really be the color palette of the painting. Yeah. So this color, for example, this one I wrote on the back, this is tulip pink. So if you're looking for tulip pink, that photo will come up. 
This pink is called rose pink. So these are the two pinks, tulip pink and rose pink. The tulip, it has a more blue undercast. Yeah. The other one has more of an orangey undercast, so more red in it. And then these two greens, so the green here, this is Sea Holly Aqua. And then this one is mint green. So a little bit more blue on the left and a little bit more yellow on the right. Okay. And then here, this is kind of in with this pink range, but this is more purple. This is a violet lavender. It's kind of like that orchid color. Mm -hmm. Radiant orchid. Radiant orchid. And then this is iris orange. Even though it doesn't look very orange, <laughs> Um, but this is iris orange. It's more of a yellow. Um, this one is considered bluebell blue. Boy, the person who named me, I, the names are pretty, but that's not. <laughs> I know. Like that's not bluebell. Blue no. That's more like of a forget me not. This is orange. <laughs> um, this, this orange and this we call Pepto pink. No, we call it different. <laughs> this is. Um, flamingo. You're gonna. I gotta change on the website then, because I use the colors they use, okay. so that I get my my. That's such a terrible name. I know, but I, I gotta make sure I get my cuttings flamingo. right. Flamingo. So these two are shiny. So these are gonna be gloss on the front, whereas all these other ones are gonna be matte mm -hmm. on the front, and they are gloss on the back. If you want to make the shiny ones. Um, Matt, you can do that with a super high grit uh, sandpaper and just lightly buff it and it will take the shine off. However, <clears throat> to make those other ones shiny, I think the only way to do that is like UV resin or something. Yeah. So they do have that beautiful matte satin finish. So you have nine different colors and I believe there are nine different quotes. All right. Nine times nine. Yes. <clears throat> so this is follow your bliss. Magic is a belief in the power of change. Beginning is always today. All things are possible. In every ending, there is a new beginning. Try to be a rainbow in someone's cloud. Time is the only constant in life. No, the only constant in life is change. Boy, I agree. The only constant in life is change. Who will make his own quote? I know. Go confidently in the direction of your dreams. Live the life you have imagined. When you want something, all the universe conspires in helping you to achieve it. I thought that was some better than get it. Get it. So nine of those in nine different colors. All right. And and these are MTO. Made to order, everybody. Um, and they should. But you've been pretty good about getting them out. So I've been trying really hard. I've been trying really hard. They should. Did I actually turn them on? Let me see if I turned them on. Um I thought I did, but maybe I have not yet. Or maybe it's just taking a while to get through. And people were talking about cilantro still. I don't like cilantro at all. Ugh. You have that gene. I do have that gene. I don't mind that. Like in a pico de gallo. I am in it to win it. All right. They're there. They are now. So you should be able to see those. Um, it actually is called Pet Pink. <laughs> it auto-corrected. Pep Pink. So there you go. That's going to be that's Pep. A, I like Pep that's better gonna be, than Pepto. Yeah, that's going to be Pep Pink. Um, like you got some Pep. Right. some cheer. Let's go to the Pep Squad. So I hope you like those. And now Andrew is going to do a demo on how to um, color, color them in. What and color I, you are? I left you a, a pendant here. It's not one of my models to work with. 
Hmm, I guess we're using that. Did you peel the thing off? You told me not to. No, the back sticker doesn't matter. Oh. That's so why I was like, why do you tell me not to? And that one? Why? Alright. Do we have a paintbrush here? Um, I guess so. So, I'm going to use this board for my background. <laughs> Maybe. Now that it's my photo board. His beloved. Alright, get this business out the way then. So what do you think of the pendants, everybody? We, we know your views on cilantro now. <laughs> How are you liking these pendants? Ian doesn't like cilantro. Ian says, I agree, Ian. And cilantro is yuck. <laughs> I like it. No, no thank you. Here's your gloves, here's your towels. All right, I'm going to put gloves on. Now, you should do this process in a well ventilated area so you don't get asphyxiated. I'm going to put gloves on. Um, <coughs> Normally, I don't know, I don't always do that, but um, I like these gloves. They're the nitrile gloves. Nitrile. I think they're pretty nice like that. Um, I'm going to get a painting palette of some sort. In theory, I have it. All right. So in order to get the color... I'm going to use this vintage patina paint. I know that they don't make this anymore, um, but I still have these from before and I love them and they last forever. Um, you don't need a lot of it. This is a really wonderful um, product because it heat sets and then it's really, really durable. Um, but this is the thing is you kind of have to do this in a well ventilated area because we're going to be using isopropyl alcohol and it can be smelly. Um, also, this is not a project that you're gonna do by candlelight uh, because some of the products are highly flammable, all right? This alcohol ink, you're not gonna go and put the candles and set the mood and stuff and start to work because it can catch on fire and then it's a sad time. So don't do that. All right. Um, I shook this up. This is a garnet, so I guess we're using that. Um, but you can also tint these and make custom, custom colors. You can mix them. So you don't need a whole lot of colors. You just need the, basically the primary colors, a yellow, red, and blue. Um, and if you have a white and a black, then you can pretty much make a lot of different colors. Now, purples, those are a little bit different because they... Um, you can get variations of a purple by mixing um, a blue and a red with a little bit of white. However, um, if you want like a purple purple, um, you just have to get a purple one, like a, um, a more saturated purple. Um, so this is a red color. And we're going to put it in the try to be a rainbow in someone's cloud. And so what we're going to do is with this product, you want to make sure that it's fully shaken up. So if you also, it helps if you are a little bit warmer, um, because if it's super cold, sometimes I feel like it doesn't, it doesn't flow as nicely. Um, so one of the tips that, um, I got from spray paint artists is sometimes they'll have a thing of warm water and then they'll put it in the warm water, not submerge it completely, but put this in the warm water and that will help um, get it to flow better if it's kind of like clogging up and stuff. So if it does clog up, just keep a pin off to the side and that pin you can use to open the nozzle and like I said, you don't need a whole lot. You just need a little tiny bit of this and it goes a long way. 
Um, I mix a lot of these on a tile, a porcelain tile. And then when I'm done, I can take a razor blade and scrape it down and it will be fine. All right. So um, when you're working with this product, it is important not to mix water in it to, because it can curdle um, the paint, um, the patina paint. This is not a patina. A real patina is a chemical reaction between the surface of um, the metal and uh, whatever outside uh, elements around in the environment. And like, for example, oxygen uh, will oxidize uh, steel and make rust um, with a little bit of water. So a little bit of water and um, a little bit of water and oxygen will cause rust on steel. All right. Um, acidity and copper causes vertigree. Ammonia and salt on copper will cause like a cobalt blue color. So that is a natural patina. That's a chemical reaction between metal and whatever external factor. Um, that is not this, but that's what these are called. They don't make these anymore, but they're still available in certain places. Some of y'all bought some from us before. Um, I love these because they're really durable um, and they last a really long time. So I am a big fan of these. There is a new formulation of these and it should work just fine. Um, I don't know if it's the same manufacturer or what, but um, I actually haven't tried the new ones yet. I think they're called like Ultimate Paints or something like that. Um, but I haven't tried that yet because I still have these. So why get new ones if I, I still have these? All right. So, um, so don't mix water. If you need to thin it down for some reason, there is a medium that they sell. There's a gloss and there's a matte. And I would use those if you need to thin your paint down for any reasons. If you want to make light, transparent layers, then that's what you can do. So use a dry brush, not one that's wet. Um, and hopefully the, I, this is not plugged up. It's not good. All right. And so I'm going to take a small brush and I'm going to focus mostly on the letters. I'm not going to do the whole pendant. Okay. Um, you could if you want, but you're just wasting paint at that point. So I'm going to primarily focus on just the letters. And I'm going to kind of tap the, the paint into the recessed areas. I don't want there to be like a bubble action happening where uh, what will happen is it will cause... Um, I don't know what the real word is, but um, maybe meniscus. It will cre create kind of like a pocket where um, it's going to create a pocket where it doesn't fully permeate and sink down into, um, into the recessed area. All right. So... Um, uh, it's like when you're blowing bubbles, it will create a, um, you know, it creates kind of like a, like when you're blowing bubbles, um, and it doesn't necessarily get down into the grooves of your, uh, words. So this is, um, an old school scrimshaw, if you don't know what scrimshaw is, um, sailors would carve on, um, they would carve on uh, whale bones and to darken the lines, what they would do is they would burn whale fat and make like this uh, black city um, paint that they would mix with the whale fat, which is an oil, 
And then it would make that carbon color, like a basically an oil paint, basically. And um, then they would smear that on. And wherever it went into the recessed areas, it would be darker and show the design of, uh, of the scrimshaw or the carving. And this does dry somewhat quickly. Um, so you do have to, you know, work with intention, um, but that's what we're doing. And um, so again, I'm gonna kind of tap this down in there. If it starts to clog up, like if it starts, if it starts drying on your brush, do not clean it with water. Just put it back in the paint and the solvent in the paint will help um, rehydrate the bristles and make it not dried out. If that makes any sense. And this one, the letters are kind of small for the uh, name attribution. Um, so I am, I'm gonna be a little bit careful. Um, if you need magnification to get in there and get in there, you can do that. But you can see what I mean where sometimes it doesn't necessarily want to um, go where it's supposed to. It will sometimes like clog up at the top of the hole and not see soak down into the letters. So in that case, just go back over it and um, we'll put this off to the side for just a second. I'm gonna hit it anywhere where I think I've missed anything. That looks pretty good coverage to me. Um, but I am gonna kind of tap it down. I am using a fine bristle. Now, one thing that sometimes I'll do is that like, see right there that E is missing some, is I will turn a piece around and turn it upside down. And then that way I can look and see if in the light, if there's anything where I'm missing anything. Cause sometimes I just caught maybe three spots where I'd been missing some paint. So that's a way you can make sure that you're getting paint in the curtain. Now, before you let this dry, I need a little bit of water William, if you can bring some over. Yes, I need a little bit of water. Um, because I don't want to ruin this brush. Is that one that we use here? Put it in that chipped crystal bowl. Over there. Here, just use that. I'm not going to put my mouth on that one. You never know. Okay, I don't need a lot. All right, and then I'm just gonna wash this out. Um, you wanna make sure that it's really clean uh, because sometimes there's a residue that can get stuck into the brushes and it can cause your brushes to get not so good after a while. So wash this out, rinse it out. And then when I get home, there's this stuff called the Master's Brush Cleaner. Uh, that's a terrible name, I hate it. But um, anyways, it's like old master kind of brush cleaner. It's a soap that's designed to clean brushes. You can get that at big box stores or your favorite um, uh, paint supply store. All right. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to take a um, paper towel And um, I like the low uh, fiber count paper towels. That's not this. This is whatever we had at home. But um, those work really well to remove any kind of excess paint. So when I'm folding this, I'm going to fold it so that it's like smooth on top. I'm not going to get a focus on the sides. I want this to be smooth. And the reason why is... 
Um, I only want to clean off the paint on the surface. I don't want to get into those recessed areas. Um, I'm going to use isopropyl alcohol. I don't know if you can see that. They actually make one that's stronger than this. This is 70%. Usually I get like 90%. And it's a rubbing alcohol. I'm just going to dampen my um, my paper towel Ooh. and spill it everywhere. That's fun. The nice thing about that is it dries real quick. But I don't want to pull up the the um, the varnish on the floor, and then I'm just gonna rub this. And it's gonna look a mess. Um, and then I'm gonna remove it like so. As I mentioned, you should do this in a well-ventilated area because it is extremely smelly. All right. And then when you get and you rub all of this off, I'm going to do, I'm going to find a clean spot on my towel and then just in a circular motion, go around and pick up any residue that's left behind. All right. Now, the thing that I'm going to do with this, see this, is I'm going to um, lightly heat it uh, with a heat gun, which I'm going to do off camera because I don't have the heat gun set up. And I'm going to do that on a um, on a non-flammable surface, kind of like a tile. And I'm also going to take care not to hold the heat gun too close to the surface of the pendant. This is acrylic. This is a plastic and it will catch on fire. So just be careful. Don't get hog wild and, and hold it too close and then think that you're going to speed it up. Um, just kind of hold it back and keep it moving. You don't want to hold the heat gun in one place. Those kind of heat strip paint. That's what they're designed for, to remove paint. So if you heat it up too hot, it will remove the paint that you just put on. Uh, the reason why I'm using a heat gun is that um, to dry this is because this is a heat set paint. So generally speaking, you'd want to get this around like 280 um, in temperature, and that will help bond it to the plastic surface underneath and make sure that it's very durable. Since it's in a recessed area, it's not going to matter too much because um, unless you're going in with some needles and, and trying to gouge it out, um, generally speaking, it's going to be pretty safe. Um, it's not going to like wear off. Now, if this was on the surface of the pendant, it would be better to have that heat set. They also make a glaze that you can seal things in. And it just depends on the finish that you want to achieve. All right. And they also sell like a crystal Krylon that is designed to bond with plastic and that can also work as a sealer. You don't really necessarily have to seal it because it's just plastic on plastic at that point. But if you're going to do like some really fine like painting work um, and you're going to do like miniature portraiture style kind of painting, you would want some kind of layer of protection just in case. But in all likelihood, you don't, you're not going to do that. So um, you don't necessarily have to seal this above and beyond what we've got going on already. If you want to, there are ways of doing that, but they're not essential to do that. So that's how you get the um, letters to pop out. Uh, Facebook user says, it came out perfect. Cheryl says, it's magic. So there you go. All right, William. 
bring over the pre towels. You want to show that? What do you all think of that? Oh, the other thing about how these gloves, I like them because they don't make your hands super powdery. You know, sometimes when you use the latex gloves, your hands feel like, I don't know how they feel, like you've been wrestling a baby powder thing. I don't know. But um, I like those. Suzanne says, cute. Jermaine says, great, thanks. Um, and I love this. This is a way to bring out detail in these laser engraved pendants. So if you get something like that, um, particularly from us, um, it usually will work almost always. So um, I can't think of anything where that would be a problem. But anyways, let me know if you have any questions about how to do this. Um, and uh, do you like the pendants? I don't know. Are they saying anything? Marianne says, love that technique. All right. Cindy says, love the technique of painting the lettering and all your info. Oh, good. Jermaine says, great, thanks. All right, so as some of you know, I've been making paintings, uh, the New Day paintings. So we wanted to make some pendants um, that are inspired by this. So we took and had a texture that on the rolling mill and did it in copper. And then William, he cut these circles out for me. He did a good job. And then I took a saw and then sawed out these shapes. And then we sweat soldered um, these shapes and this bezel cup to the surface of the pendants. And I made a couple different ones. They're all different. They're not the same. Get the way. <laughs> Oh, Anne's saying, I like the pendants. My favorite is the pet pink. Does this technique work on the shiny ones, too? It does. It actually works better. Because the shiny is like a resistant. So there's a little bit of overspray with some of the solder, but that, I don't mind that. Um, and so, um, there you go. So these ones, I'm going to eventually polish them up patina them and set a stone in there and then drill a hole and then do an eyelet around there. So that's my chore for tonight. While I'm sublimating. Correct. And so these will be available in the online store soon. We haven't priced these yet because they're so new. Um, one thing is I forgot to sign these, so we'll have to figure something out. Maybe I'll engrave it or something. So these are going to be the New Day uh, pendants, metal pendants. metal pendants. And then these stones, I'm going to try to pick a different stone for each one of them. But I am i don't know. Maybe I have some Larimar and some turquoise. I think I may have some coral. I don't know. Some agate, I think you have. Mm -hmm. Crazy lace agate. Crazy lace agate, really nice designs. Cindy says, love your metal work. I try hard. Okay. Oh. Um. So we're going to have a giveaway. <laughs> so y'all want a giveaway since we've been here for two and a half hours already? Maybe they don't want anything anymore. Maybe we'll have it at, uh, we'll last for three hours. <laughs> Well, let's hope not, because my voice is going. Um, you can tell I'm not used to using my voice. Amanda says, love your demos. Yeah, I haven't been doing as many demos lately, because we've been trying to make money so we don't starve to death. Um, so, um, what do you want to do? How do you want to do this? I don't know. You didn't think of this while you were away? <laughs> while well, I was away. Doing... So we made samples of what these would look like. And some of y'all said you like these ones. But we don't really have enough material to put these into production. And I changed the designs on these. So this is done in a process where the plastic, the acrylic, is this gold. And then they put like a white coating on top. 
And then when you laser away and etch the words, you see the gold. So it gets this kind of look without having to paint it. So we have these. How about we just do it? What do you think if we just have them send emails like we do on the things and you can claim them in the first, what, how many do we have? Five people? Can you get them? Um, okay. I think that's quick and easy and you don't have to purchase anything. You don't have to. Okay. We're going to call this prize one. If you want to win prize one, send an email to info at allegorygallery.com. It says prize one in the subject. Prize one. In every ending, there is a new beginning. You can tell I wouldn't be a good audiobook person. <laughs> Sound like the person, um, the teacher. The peanuts teacher. All right. This is a prize one in every ending. There is a new beginning. Deborah Harkness. All Saints book. It's Gertie's voice. Where's the scissors? This is over there. Scissors over. In every ending, there is a new beginning, prize one. William, is there a way to check the email? Is this going? There is a way. Oh, you want to know another way that you can add? <laughs> I'll do this a later. Um, sometimes if you get this, this is called an identity pen. And if you, if you do the letters, you can like, do that and then wipe it off but that this is a little bit harder to remove plus i don't like to mess up my identity pens those are kind of expensive all right no one's gotten prize one yet no one's gotten prize one you don't have to have bought anything tonight either we can no. unless you have never bought anything from us then i'm going to be a, get a little bit you have to have bought something in the time of our business. <laughs> All right. Prize two is the only constant in life is change. Send us an email at info at allegorygallery.com. Include the name prize two. First come, first serve. You'll be the winner. This is free. This is acrylic. Y'all don't like prizes? <laughs> you know how many friends? Can everyone fall asleep. Okay. No, we still got 20 some people watching. Teresa Ramsdale got prize one. All right. What about prize two? You can only win one prize, by the way. Okay. Well, I'm going to make it harder. Yep. You can only get one. We wanted these to go out to people. Right. Y'all want that? Prize two. Prize two. Suzanne Ward. Good job. All right. Prize three. Prize three, when you want something, all the universe inspires in helping you to achieve it. Paolo Coelho. This was probably when I was in a high school student, maybe early college. This is one of my favorite books because I had a lot of like self-esteem issues. And this like helped me like if I wanted it, I could make it happen. Prize three, Cheryl. Good job. Kronzinski. All right. This one. Y'all like the power of myth. Joseph Campbell style. Follow your bliss. Prize four. Follow your bliss. Remember, you can only win once. So far, Teresa Ramsdale won prize one. Suzanne won prize two. Cheryl won prize three. And Who now, will win prize four? Who gets prize four. And remember, all these quotes are now available in our New Day acrylic pendants. Y'all getting motion set? I would be. All right. No one wants prize four? No one has claimed prize four yet. We're a little behind, though. Some people are a little behind. I'm seeing numbers come in that we've already said they've won. All right. So some people are watching, I think, a little bit behind. Follow your bliss, Remember, Joseph you can Campbell. Only you can only claim once, so if I called your name already, you cannot win again.
I guess unless no one else claims it. You gotta send that email, yo. Yep. So you gotta we, follow the rules to follow your bliss. Before, but they already won. Uh, might get another one if no one else comes in tonight. Nobody else. Let's go into prize five and we'll see what happens. Let's do, give it a second. Anybody? Bueller, Bueller. Bueller. Isn't that name? Bueller. Cindy, did you did you email us? People are claiming prize five. They haven't. Even I didn't seen see it any yet. email. People are claiming five, and they haven't even seen it yet. Oh, well. <laughs> Anyways, send us an email. Claim prize five for um, this one's prize five. We've already got a prize five, so that one is one. Cindy says she did, but I don't see it. You, you said you didn't see it. Nope. Is in the junk. Yeah, that's, I have to go into a whole different folder for that. Norma says she claimed four. Norma claimed five. Four or five? Norma claimed five. Norma? Got this one. Oh, this I already claimed. Never mind. <laughs> Prize five, Norma. She claimed it before we showed it. I think you were trying to claim four, but you got five. <laughs> so. Let me see if there's any junk. Anything in my junk mail? Nobody, nothing in my junk mail. Nope. You got it now? Somebody do it? Please, somebody do it. Well, T Teresa claimed prize four twice, and she already got prize one, but since no one else wants four, Teresa gets four as well. Tried four again. You're not getting from Cindy? Nope. You see Cindy's name? No. Nope. And you're sending it to info at allegorygallery.com. Has to be this address up here. Crying. All right. Well, just because you wrote it in the comments don't count. <laughs> Is it anybody? We'll give it two more seconds. Prize five is gone to Norma. Prize three is gone to Cheryl. Prize two is gone to Suzanne. Prize one is gone to Teresa. Nobody's claimed in the email. Marianne got it. Okay, there's Marianne then. All right. That's the thing is you have to play by the rules. <laughs> um, all right, well, we're going to say bye. Bye, am I? Yeah, Bye, everybody. See <laughs> We will see you. Andrew said maybe we're coming back tomorrow. I don't know. But if not, have a great weekend. And we will um, get these metal pendants out soon. Don't forget to purchase the acrylic pendants if you saw something you liked tonight. Um, yeah, I think that's all I've got. Oh, and the reason why we're using the email system instead of in the comment is because when this shuts down and we don't and we have to send it to Barb. This is the only way that it's gonna make sense. So yep. that's why it's important to do that. Because otherwise, when Barb doesn't watch these all the time, so she doesn't always know. <clears throat> nope. And then uh, then we have to go through the video, go through all the comments, go through uh, all this. Cindy didn't have gallery. Yeah, we are not allegory.com. Uh, yes. I wonder how many emails they've gotten. I wonder how many cells we've lost over not having. <laughs> Perfect. It's info at allegorygallery.com. So anyway, sure to check <clears throat> add us to your address book for next time. All right, everyone. Maybe we'll do more giveaways if y'all are nice. Right? Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. I'm sure we will. <laughs> All right, everyone. Have Thank a great weekend. You. Thank you so much for tuning in for so long tonight. Hope you had fun. We did. Bye, everybody. See ya.